Hi, today we're going to look at portfolio magazines. Lots of people have asked me how I make these portfolio magazines, and I'm going to show you how. I use the blurb.com print on demand service. I've been using that for 10 years and it really fits me really well. I really like their products. This is a premium magazine. Obviously it's designed to be a magazine in a vertical format like this, but all my pages are horizontal. So what do you do? You just make all the content rotated so you can use it like this. And this is a 32 page premium magazine and it costs the grand total of eight US dollars to make. So it's literally a cup of coffee for something that is a big, impressive business card, a big, impressive portfolio, super lightweight, you can carry it around. This one I put together using the BookWrite software, which is the free software for Blurb, and I'm gonna show you how I did it. Okay, I've loaded my existing portfolio magazine into the BookWrite software. And as you can tell, it's just a completely simple, very normal magazine. And the only difference is that all the content is just rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. That's all there is to it. As you scroll down it, this is simply my 32 pages of content, mostly just pictures because this is just a tightly edited little display of my pictures. It's just a sign to kind of wow people. You can have some fun uh, when you're designing this, picking pictures that fit together because people are going to be looking at this as a spread. So they're going to be seeing two pictures at the same time. So it makes sense to try and pick stuff that fits together in kind of color and style. Here's the cover. And let me show you from the beginning how I make one of these. So you see this welcome screen when you open book, right? You just go create and we want to make books and magazines and I want to make a magazine, premium magazine because it has the best print quality and it's still very affordable and you don't really have any choices here. You just click next and we call it something as original as test portfolio. Oh, there we go. Now it opens the new document. It's completely blank. Now it's up to us to fill it with content. And uh, it comes with a series of layouts already. You can choose different picture layouts. You're probably interested in just, if you're doing it like me, just filling a picture full bleed or very big on page. So let's just try and do that. Just select this and you can see that you have an image container here. And let me just show an example of what happens and a little clever feature. I'm just gonna quickly add some pictures. So if I drag one of these down here, it naturally comes up vertically. And we want it rotated if you're gonna make this rotated landscape. So of course you can go in and click and rotate every image container, but then you end up with this and then you have to start resizing it to fit the page and that just seems like a lot of work if you have to do that for every single page fortunately you can make your own page layout and save them so don't do this what you want to do go to a blank page let's just apply the same image container here as you can see it's not rotated we need it to be rotated so we're going to rotate it just single click minus 90 there we go and I'm just going to turn these bleed thingies off because I want it to be to the edge all the way to the edge so we do that notice the text there that is now pre-rotated image container so to speak and that means that if I drag an image into it now it will automatically be rotated but hang on Let's copy this and paste it here and just drag it into place. We now have two, and that was not quite right. We now have two image containers and a beautiful spread, which is exactly like I needed. It's rotated and it's full bleed all the way to the edge. That's what I wanted. You can make them smaller. If you want a bit of border, I don't. Now, I'm gonna select these two because 
I want to save this layout. There's a little thing here, save layout. Save it as a spread. You can call it any funny thing you want. Rotated full bleed spread probably makes sense. Saved. And the really cool thing is first, let me demonstrate. You now can just drag an image into it and there you go. It's already pre-rotated because the image container is rotated. You can now just decide, double click it, do I want it to fit the frame? Because this is a widescreen image. Or crop it and fill the frame. That's up to you. But just drag it in and you're done. That's why you can do this in like 10 minutes. Once you've set up the template, it is no time at all. Just, just go down to page four and five and layout. It's on my layout. So I have this beautiful spread, apply it. You see that? Go back to photos, drag them down. And you're done. Just decide, eh, I want this fit to frame. I don't want them cropped. I don't really like cropping my pictures because they are awesome and should not be touched. And then you're thinking, mm, I don't really want a white background on these. I like a black background. So let's right click somewhere here and go apply background color. I'm just gonna click this and go apply to all pages and you're done. You got a nice black border on all of these. Of course, if you want a little caption, you can make a little caption in your template too and just have that pre-rotated so you can just add a little caption underneath. So that's all there is to it. You just simply go down and you apply the spread layout. Then you have the two pre-rotated containers and you just take pictures, drag them in there, design a nice cover, order them, have fun making these, order some more, make some more. It is totally awesome. And it's an amazing thing to present to people. I guarantee you this is so much more effectful than showing anything on an iPad or a phone or whatever. So have lots of creative fun with that. Make yourself some portfolio magazines. Actually, the shipping is probably going to be more than the actual magazine. So make a couple or order three copies and give them away. That's all for now. Shoot me any questions you have in the comments and have fun. See you next time.